Here we're looking at some mulberries. You can see in the kind of the right middle um, that those really green ones and then the red ones are partially ripe and the black ones that look like blackberries are fully ripe ones. And just looking around the tree here. Bunch, a bunch. Tree has gone a little bit crazy this year. Lots and lots. Ouch. <clears throat> Sun's in the wrong position for me to give you a really good idea of how big the tree actually is. But here's some more. Really mixed taste, actually. Some of them are really sweet. Some of them not so much. But they do make a really good pie. I used the blackberry recipe for a blackberry pie recipe, and that worked really well. Here's another view of the tree. A little bit different. Gives you some idea of how big it is. There's something about picking the berries that just feels like a connection to deep time. Our ancestors, both uh, hominid and pre-hominid, were out picking berries like this, and even, even the, the birds, the little dinosaurs. So here's about uh, five minutes worth of work on the, on the plant, and that's the third one I've done like that so far, and that'll last me about three days of breakfast. Guess I'm gonna have to just pick some more. There's so many on there. Here's one of the beetles that likes the berries as well. Every once in a while you grab a what you think is a berry and it turns out to be a beetle, which uh, has made all of us very uncomfortable at times. But they're harmless. They're cute though. Somewhere in here, I've run into a little green kamakuri tree guardian a couple of times, but now that I'm looking for it with a video, of course I'm not finding it. Did find a little boonie bee, but that won't hold still long enough for me to video. Guess you'll just have to believe me.